hello and welcome to the channel today in this tutorial i will show you how to design this model from start cut cam site and this will be a practical exercise that we'll do in freecad so now let's go to freecad and what to do in this search page is to create a new document clicking this plus icon and now select power design workbench okay and next create body and a new sketch and exit plane what you'll do in the sketch here is to draw this arc here so now what to do in the sketch workbench is to go to the sketch sketch geometers and select this arc tool and now click in this vertical line and and here draw this arc and next select this line tool and draw this horizontal line here okay and next what we'll do is to create a point in this arc here so what to do is to select this tool and create a point in this arc here and now we select this arc and this origin point and vertical constraint okay and this line this point here and this origin point horizontal constraint okay and next here we'll set the distance between these two points here and the ridge of this arc here so first here we select this vertical distance tool we select this point here and this origin point and we'll set this dimension here and now we select this constraint here and we set the ridge of this arc here to here we see 42 so we change here to 42 and and next click in this button here we'll leave this sketch and press home and next go to this pad tool here check these options similar to plane and the link here will set okay the link we can see here in the east of view so here we'll set okay and next here we'll create this pocket here so what to do is to select this face here and create sorry create a new sketch in xy plane okay and what to do here is to select this rectangle tool and draw this rectangle and next here select this external geometry tool and extra this edge here and now we go to this drink page and we see these dimensions here okay here we have 28 for this line here so what you do here is to select this horizontal distance tool and now these two points here and we set 28 millimeters and and next here we have this distance so what to do here we go to this vertical distance tool we select this point and this point and here we'll set this formula okay so now we have the distance here we have this horizontal distance, distance and and we have this vertical distance now so we close this sketch and we go to pocket tool and the type will set travel and click ok and next here we go to model and we select this pocket here and now this mirrored future and here we'll change the plane to axi plane okay so now we have the pocket here and now click ok and next here we'll do this fillet operation so what to do is to select this we select this edge here and we go to fillet tool and here we'll set the radius to two millimeters okay and now click in this add button and add this edge here and click ok and next here to create this pocket what to do is to select this face here and go to this thickness tool and what we'll do here is to first check this option make thickness inwards and we'll change the thickness here to 
1.8 and OK. So now here we we'll create this pocket and this pocket here. So what to do is to press home and create a new sketch. This sketch here will create in X plane again. And here we switch to section view and now select this external geometry tool. And we extra this edge here. And now switch again to full view and extra this edge here. And now switch to section view again. And what to do here is to select this pole line tool and now we draw this sketch here in this way and next select this okay press M three times and now we can draw this arc here and now delete this tangent constraint here and now select this line in this arc and tangent constraint okay and now we select these two points here and coincident okay and here we see these dimensions we have 23 degrees for these lines here so we select these angle constraint and these two lines and we set 23 and next here we'll set the radius of this arc here so we select this constraint and now this arc and we'll set a radius of 5 millimeters okay and this point here and this point horizontal constraint okay and here we have this distance here this vertical distance so what to do is to select this vertical distance tool and now select this point here and this point and we set 3 millimeters so now this sketch here is constrained and next we'll do this sketch here so here we select this polline tool and we draw this line here, this vertical line and now this line. And now here we'll draw this horizontal line and next click in this horizontal line here and click in this point. Okay. And now here we'll set the dimension for this sketch here. So here we can see this angle here. So what to do is to select this angle constraint and now click in this line and this line and here we set this dimension here. Okay and next here we select this fillet tool and we select this line and this line here. And now we drag this arc and next we select this constraint here and We'll set the radius of this arc to 2 millimeters. Okay. And next here to, to constrain this angle here, what to do is to select this angle constraint and now select this line and this line. Okay. So what to do is to select this line tool and now click on this point here and draw this horizontal line and next we select this line here and click on this icon and now this line is a construction line so next we select this constraint here and now this line and this line and here we set we set 18 degrees okay and now here we select this horizontal distance tool and we we'll set the distance here so for this point here to this point we have 20 we have 26 millimeters okay and between this point here to this point we have five millimeters so here we'll delete this point here and drag these points and now coincident and next here we select this horizontal distance tool we select this point here and this point and we set five millimeters and now horizontal constraint between these two points okay 
and next here we'll set these distance so here we select this vertical distance tool and here we set six millimeters and what is missing now is to okay here we'll connect this point here to this point constant and now this sketch is constrained and next here we can use this tool here to extract this edge and now select this point and this point and constant so now this sketch here is full constrained so we we'll leave this sketch here and we go to pocket tool we set cement to plane and here we set throw draw and now we have this so as you can see we finished the design of this model